Hello there. These are some internet resources that you can use that I think you'll find valuable, uh, and you can access them wherever you find internet. Most of them are completely free. So if you want to look at a biblical passage that and commentaries on it that have come up in the that are in a sign text for for Sundays in the Revised Common Lectionary. There are two websites that, that coordinate that kind of work. There's Text Week and there's Working Preacher. Both of them have multiple kinds of resources on their page, but if you Google Text Week Index, it'll list the scriptures in the order they appear in the Bible, and you can choose them. Same thing with Working Preacher. You get all the books of the Bible, and if you click on one, then it goes in a more focused way, and it'll tell you how to find Mark 2. If you're looking for a search engine that is set up for the Bible and uses the NRSV, um, the one I tend to use is called is the Oremus page, and it's got several ways you can search there. You can look at that and you'll figure it out. If you want more examples of great audio performance commentaries on particularly gospel texts, Tom and Amelia Boomershine run Gotel. Uh, org, and they have every gospel lesson that's assigned over the three-year cycle in, in historic churches uh, are, are on their website with Tom giving an audio commentary and somebody giving an audio performance. If you're interested in the hub for, for scholarly articles on the discipline of uh, biblical performance, it's listed there, biblicalperformancecriticism.org. It had ar articles, everything from very practical things to phenomenally detailed things that often when a new book comes out, it has recommendations. Uh, it's a little bit of an overwhelming site, but it's a helpful site. The biggest group of biblical scholars, the Society of Biblical Literature, has produced a web page open for the public called Bible Odyssey. If you go there and you want to find out what, what was the scoop on Nazareth, you can do a search for Nazareth and it'll pull that up. And it does people, places, you can see the lists on the on the toolbar there of the kinds of things that they offered. It's still somewhat new, and so it's hit and miss. You might wonder why they have an article on this obscure character and nothing on Pontius Pilate. Or, so there is that. If you're looking for an orientation in terms of, the, of a particular book of the Bible or some of the theology that's in a particular book, uh, Luther Seminary, the same people who do Working Preacher has a program called Enter the Bible, and you can search it by books. It gives you an overview. You can see on this, uh, this screenshot the various things that that'll offer you as well, and it's for every book of the, of the Bible. Dennis Dewey is one of the greats in this uh, discipline, puts out all his resources that he has. He just wants them to be used on, on his Sacred Story Journeys website. You can, uh, you can go there and, and see that what he has. He, I think he accepts donations to help maintain the cost of, of the piece, and he'll give you instructions on that. On that. For sure, go to the NBSI uh, website for performance videos and other things. And then I'll just point you towards uh, or my YouTube page, you're on it because that's where these lectures are located. But if you look at uh, some of the other playlists, you'll see uh, 40, at least at this moment, 40 stellar tellers of the network, primarily telling stories in various styles. Uh, and the, that's a playlist, amazing storytelling. I also have my complete telling of the Gospel of Mark if you want to watch uh, that. So I hope this is helpful for, to, for you and allows you to do uh, disciplined work, relying on scholars wherever you are that has internet. So blessings to you. I'm looking forward to meeting with you in August.